fat people, yeah, they take up more space, they take up more resources. Exactly. Yeah. They're just here to take from us, just, not yeah. to get. In order to be a man, you need to be become strong and you need to become uh, positively minded as a, as a good man, as Andrew Tate teaches. As the 21st century progresses, we are seeing record high rates of obesity all around the world, but especially in the West. Now, it's easy to point fingers, but what if it's not the people that's the problem, but something larger? Because the most surefire way to have an unhealthy and obese population is rather simple encourage harmful ideas and spread vices disguised as virtues. So is that what the governments and big corporations have been trying to do? What is up boys, we're back in the streets here. Today the question of the day is going to be, is it okay to be fat? Should people be fat tubs of lard? I guess we're gonna find out. Got my boy Jake behind the camera, shout out. And let's get this whole started, let's go. Do you guys think it's okay to be fat? Yeah. Why? Because I'm not fat phobic. Um, as long as you're healthy. <laughs> Can you be healthy and fat? Mm, it depends what you're like because no. <laughs> most of the time if you're fat it's not healthy I think it's fine I think that on its own I don't think anybody has really a right to criticize somebody else for their own life choices I think you know in certain aspects it can be unhealthy but that's really a kind of a limiting case I think most of the times when you describe somebody as fat it's uh they're mostly going to be fine from it uh so I don't know, I don't really care, it doesn't really bother me. I feel like your um, body type isn't really reflective of your health. You can be fat, but like you can have, well you can have more mass on your body, but you can have a healthy lifestyle and like a healthy diet. Like as a sumo wrestler or something? I think sumo wrestlers have to be bigger for their sport. It's quite rude to assume people's health based on the size of them. I feel like if they're fat and they're healthy, then people shouldn't have an issue with it. Can you be fat and healthy? It depends like what you mean by fat. You think someone could be obese and healthy? Well, like what do you mean by obese? For a man having over like 25% body fat, for a woman maybe above 30, 35% body fat. I think if you're healthy then it's fine. Do you think like if you had someone you cared about and they were like obese, you'd be like concerned or? Yeah, I'll just make them run, isn't it? Just make them train, do a bit more. Of course, there are rising obese rates in the UK, but that's way more to do with it's so easy to uh, get sugary foods. They have, they're very cheap, especially in this cost of living crisis. They can be some of the cheapest food you can get. And so for a struggling family, which a lot of people are, that those are the foods you're going to want to get. So in that case, the best thing you can do in uh, trying to solve something like that is just increasing a sugar tax. Making like the healthier foods cheaper, perhaps? Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, far less than like a cultural thing and far more just an economic thing. Hundreds of years ago, the big problem that most people faced was one scarcity. They didn't have enough food, clothes or soap. Everything was limited as there was an exponentially smaller selection and range of everyday items. So when you got food that was fatty or had sugar in it, it was great because these foods provided sustenance and calories that you would otherwise seldom get from your everyday rice and bread which would usually make up your diet. But what happens when these foods become the norm? When you enter a grocery store and it's cheaper to buy a sugary snack or a fatty fast food meal over a protein packed steak or a healthy salad? Well, then that's all you start eating because it tastes better and not to mention it's cheaper and more easily accessible than other healthy alternatives. So is this the problem then? That most of us aren't yet aware that these sugary and fatty foods aren't actually desirable to us as they were centuries back. Would you say that the push for like fat acceptance has gone too far? Yeah, somewhat but it's okay to be like a bit rounder. And would you say that personally you would be interested in guys who are fat? No. Wait, why is that? Because... Do you guys think it's okay to be fat? <laughs> no. Yeah. Was it? Guys? Sorry. <laughs> is it not unhealthy? It is unhealthy. Well, no, because some people got problems. No, yeah, obviously if you can't help it. What would lead to like you not being able to help it? No, like, well, what's like, I don't know, um, um, you have like medical issues. Yeah, medical issues. But like you what, can't lose weight. Like, what medical issues? I don't fucking know. I'm not educated. <laughs> Do you know any pe people who have this sort of limiting capacity to themselves? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm fat. It's alright. But do you think it's healthy? Uh, no, but. I kind of want to die faster, so it's alright. So, do you think like fat acceptance has gone too far? Uh, to an extent, yeah. Why is that? There's a certain point where like people should, you know, call the person out if they're like too fat. And at that point, if it like if it's like life threatening, mm -hmm. then it should be you know, there should be a point where you should like start thinking to yourself like, okay, maybe I should start getting skinnier. Don't you think maybe if you told a man, look, look, Jeremy, you know, like if you don't lose some weight, like you won't be able to pull any hose. Maybe like invigorate him more. To like get on that path. Your appearance isn't what would keep a relationship or get you people. Like I'd say it can be a factor, but like 
you could be jacked and still be a terrible person. The first thing we notice about a person is their physical appearance, right? Like if you see some ugly fat guy, like you're not going to think, oh, I bet he has a great personality. You're immediately going to like judge him based on his appearance because before you can even get to know him, you know? A lot of the time we grow up with that viewpoint pushed onto us. And I mean, some people won't be attracted to that. That's fine. But it's Most people? Probably, yeah, because that's just what's been told to us since we were little, like, fat equals bad. But was it taught to us or is it just, like, genetic? We see it as unhealthy. We don't want to pass on unhealthy genes to the next generation. Well, no, because, like, in, like, the Renaissance, there'd be paintings of, say, women and people who are bigger because at the time, food was scarce. So if you were bigger, it meant that you had the money to afford food. So therefore, you were seen as more attractive. But I think even if we compare that, they were bigger compared to the contemporary people of this time. But if you compare them say to an average person today they'd probably be skinnier than them it's just a matter of comparison what well, you do if you're on a plane there was a fat person sat right next to you <laughs> fat fuck you're no, like no, get no, away no, not gonna be yeah because more time yeah there's three seats on a plane yeah so they're not gonna take up, up two three. seats they're paying for two seats you're yeah, saying yeah yeah well i knew people like that so honestly in in the personal opinion you just have to start to understand that if you're fat it's not good and you need to you need do to something about it to yeah, become yeah. positive for about yourself, it. Yeah. That's what body positivity actually is. Mm. So do you think the fat acceptance movement has gone too far? Yeah, that's gone way too far. I don't even know that as People a movement. It should be a fucking stop, man, not a movement. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck that. Do you think that fat people have more difficulty in the dating pool? No, I don't think so. Really? No, because some people are into like larger people. Isn't that a bit like weird? No, like I'd rather be with someone a lot bigger than Fat? Me. Yeah. Is that like fat or are you talking tall? No, like fat, it's fine. So if someone put like Chris Hemsworth and Seth Rogen next to each other, you'd be like, okay, Seth Rogen's better. I don't know who Seth Rogen is. You don't? No. Well, uh, imagine like a slightly overweight, you know who Chris Hemsworth is? Yeah. So you're saying he's like too skinny, you want him to be a no, bit more fat? I'm not saying he's too skinny, but like I wouldn't not date someone because they're fatter. You think you'd still find them equally attractive? Yeah. One of my favorite books of all time, Lucius Aeneas Seneca's Letters from a Stoic, a group of personal writings by a prudent Roman statesman, as well as a profoundly insightful philosopher. He wrote to his friend this, Some boast of their faults. Do you think that a man has any thoughts of mending his ways who counts over his vices as if they were virtues? If, when we talk to someone who is obese and perhaps struggles with his health or diet, and we take something that pains him and makes his life more difficult and pretend it doesn't cause harm. As long as you're happy and healthy, we might say. But the obese person is neither. When he tries to walk to the grocery store, he can feel himself running out of breath. His friends will pick up girls at the bar, but when he tries to, the girls will grimace as if they'd seen a ghost. Now tell me, how can someone live like this and be happy or healthy? And those around him, instead of helping him, supporting him to be a better version of himself, will gaslight him. As Seneca said, they will twist a vice into a virtue. And at this point, is it even his fault? He's been lied to by everyone around him. Because we're all too scared to tell him, to help him, in fear of being the bad guy? We're scared of the truth. Do you think that's a big factor then in dating? Like if someone's fat, people won't find him or her like attractive? Yeah, subconsciously. People. Isn't it all subconscious though? Yeah. So do, do you mess around with like fat chicks at all or? No. If they're fat, the back ain't all that fun. Exactly, it's like, it's no, Even it's women, a no women good. Women nowadays as well, they thinking it's too good to be fat. You can't be fat Yeah, what, what are they doing? No, they're wearing a tank top, yeah, with half their, half their fucking weight out. Yeah. Like, what are they doing? What's going on? Their belly's bigger life. than their bums. <laughs> you know what I mean? The belly is bigger than the bums. Get them out. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, fam. <laughs> do you think girls uh, address these stuff within their friend groups most of the time? <laughs> yeah. Really? I mean, people talk behind it, behind people's backs, but they wouldn't actually say it to anyone. Well, that's not really addressing it then, is it? Yeah. If you go, like, to Stacey and you're like, hey, Stephanie's, like, really fat, like, that's not really helping Stephanie, is it? Yeah, that's true. So, do you think guys are more open with that? Maybe they go to the homie and be like, hit the gym, so you maybe pull some hose? Depends. I think people would, like, talk behind everyone's back. Do you think guys talk behind each other's yeah. backs as well? Yeah, I think they're they just do. more direct, though. Do you think being obese is healthy? No. Nah. So it's not really desirable in most cases. No, not really, is it? Mm. Nah. Would you say that fat acceptance has gone too far then? Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. What are some things that we can do to make you know people healthier? Maybe healthier food? Nah, because I, mean, I don't eat healthy, but I train a lot, so... Mm. Do you think it's just about like calories in, calories out sort of thing? Pretty much, yeah, I think so. Would you not date someone if they were fat? No. Okay. <laughs> it's not attractive. Well, that's a personal issue then. Well, no, I mean, they're also unhealthy, because imagine if... 
if you're gonna have children with somebody and that person has like fat genes or something, your children are gonna be unhealthy. Isn't that kind of like, you're doing your children a disservice at that point? No. I think you have to like, look out for the future generation. No, as long as you're not overfeeding them when they're a child. But what if I'm married to like a fat woman? She's like, oh no, like let them eat, let them eat. And then they just get fat, you know? Well, just you don't, yeah. So you're saying it's on me? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Like, where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, Indonesia. Right, so yeah, people in Indonesia, like, compared to the UK, are they, like, skinnier, uh, you know, yeah. more fat? Yeah, definitely. Do you think they're healthier, then? Different cultures have different diets, and, like... Do you not think the Indonesian palate is better than, perhaps, the UK one? Honestly, a lot of our food is fried. Maybe the diet, perhaps, in a lot of Western countries, England, America, is what's contributing to so much obesity? Maybe, and also, like, lack of exercise, because, like, as we progress through the world, things get more convenient. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got transportation everywhere. Yeah. Like, I think people just don't want to, like, take the time to like exercise yeah. spend yeah i mean personally i don't really exercise a lot but i do walk home instead of taking the bus it's so, good so, yeah i don't want to address it mm. the issue because it's trying to make it like not a problem like seem like it's okay to be like that but it is subconsciously the problem what is the first step to fixing a problem well, first, you'd have to be aware that it is a problem and aptly address and tackle it as such. In recent years, we have seen a surge of the fat acceptance movement and a myriad of plus-size models who tell people it's okay and they shouldn't be ashamed of being fat. But doesn't this explicitly violate the aforementioned principle to fixing a problem? Do you think if you seriously ask any obese person whether they like being overweight and wouldn't mind living like this until the rest of their life, they'd say yes? I'm willing to bet that most probably wouldn't if they gave it some thought. If you're like, oh, you're attractive, but if you just lost weight, you'd be more attractive. Isn't that like a better thing to say? That's something in your control, right? I probably wouldn't say that to someone, but... Really? No! You think that's because girls are less direct? I mean, I do think girls are probably less direct. But like, I think it depends on the person. You might say that to someone because you're more of a direct person. But I'd feel mean saying that. Do you guys think it's okay to be fat? Uh, yeah. But isn't it unhealthy? Yeah, but it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It's your body. So if you had a friend and they were kind of obese, do you think that like, you'd be supportive of that? Well, yeah, but I'd also give them, like, try give them tips to be healthy. I thought you said it was okay to be fat. It is, but if they're gonna want to live like a long life. I think it's healthy to tell them if they uh, You think it's like the right thing? I would say so, yes. Do you think sometimes the truth is like an ugly truth, but something that has to be said for better? Yes. So if you had like a guy friend maybe who's overweight and he comes to you and he's like, why don't girls like me? Would just be like, oh, cause you're fat or like, what would you say to him? Probably just be honest, be like- You'd be like, you're fat. Wouldn't be like, you're fat, just be like- Like you're a tub of blood. <laughs> No, <laughs> like you're not traditionally attractive. So what purpose does fat acceptance serve? Is it asking for basic respect from others and not to be insulted just based on their appearance? That's reasonable, right? But what if they want acknowledgement from others to affirm being fat as healthy and desirable? All of a sudden, a cultural norm is created that refuses to recognize a blatant problem that will cause the most harm to the group themselves. If the fat acceptance movement doesn't want to recognize the harm that obesity causes, then it won't empower or even help obese people. It will perpetuate a miserable reality fueled by selfish lies.